Watch it guys, today we're taking a look at how to remove the right protection from a USB flash drive or micro SD card in Windows. Now I've got a Windows 11 system here. This works also on other versions of Windows. You can see I've got a USB flash drive plugged in and when I go to format the drive, it says the disk is right protected. Now there's quite a few reasons why this can happen and we're gonna go through and try to rectify this problem. And you can see I've already changed it to a another file system like NTFS and tried to format it again. And again, you can see it's coming up with disk write protected. So let me try another uh, partition. You can see there's one more there called F, which is also write protected as well. And it's on this USB flash drive. So I thought I'd make a video showing you how to fix this uh, common issue. There's quite a few reasons. So let's go through some of them right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and right click on the drive and go down to properties. And then what we're going to do is look for a security tab. And there is no security tab here, but yours may have a security tab on it. You need to go in there and check the permissions for that particular drive and make sure that it's allowing you to read and write and you have administrative privileges for that drive. That is important because if you don't, then you're not going to be able to access the drive and you can just change those permissions. The next thing we're going to do is check the device manager. Right click on the start button and open up device manager and we can check to see whether the drive is visible. You can see this drive says raw. That means it's an unknown uh, language to Windows and it won't be able to access uh, this particular drive. Also, the drive could be damaged. So if the drive is damaged, then you're not going to be able to gain access no matter what you do. So just make sure your drive is not damaged and it is no physical damage to the drive or anything like that. Check another USB port on the computer to make sure that everything is okay. The next thing to do is check the actual device that you've got, whether it'll be one of these adapters or whether it be a micro SD card or whether it's a USB flash drive. See whether it's got some sort of right protection on the actual device itself. You can normally see a little catch and you can actually toggle this on or off. So I'm going to quickly check this other partition before we move on to the next step of trying to fix and resolve this issue. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do is open up the command prompt, type CMD in the search box and run this as administrator. From here, we're going to type disk part, and this will open up disk part for us. Now we need to list the disks. So we're going to type list disk. And once we do this, it will give us the disks that are plugged into this computer. From here, we're going to select the disk which has got the issue. In my case, it's disk two. So I'm going to go select disk two. Now, what we need to do is we're going to remove the read only uh, part of the actual drive. So go attributes, disk, clear, read only. Push enter, and hopefully this rectifies your problem. So we can now type exit out of here because we're done in command prompt. You can now remove the drive and plug it back in to see whether you can gain access to that drive. If you still can't gain access and you're still having issues, I will just give this a quick test to see whether we fix the problem. Gonna open up the drive. You can see it's asking us to uh, format the disk. So let's go ahead and hit the format again. Another box pops up here. So let's go ahead and leave this as is and click start and see whether we get the issue. So we're still getting disk is right protected. So let's move on to the next best thing that we can try here. So the next thing we're gonna try is going to the registry editor by typing reg edit in the search box here and open up the registry editor. We need to make sure there is no right protection being added by some sort of software or by some sort of a malicious program. So let's go into HK local machine system current control set, and then we're going to go control and then come down to where it says storage. Once we click on storage here, it should be just down the bottom here. Let's have a look. There it is and click on here. So we can see there is a right protection here. And if you do see one on yours, it's got one on it, then you need to either put this to zero or you can delete it from your registry. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove this and we can now remove it. That's done. Now, once that's done, uh, you can try to access it again. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to show you one more thing you can do here. We can go to Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It's a free program. 
You can use whatever program you want. There's plenty of them out there to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I'm going to select the actual drive here. I can see now partitions on here, which means there's some sort of uh, program on here that's stopping me from accessing it. So what I'm going to do here is highlight it all by clicking on the actual drive here and delete all partitions. So let's go ahead and say, yes, we're going to delete all these. You will lose your data at this stage. I'm going to say, yes, I do want to apply this. And it's going to go ahead and now make the whole drive unallocated, as you can see. Now, if we want to create a new volume, we can go ahead and click on the actual drive here and uh, right click and create. Now we can give it some sort of name. So let's go ahead and give this a name. Call it whatever you like on your USB flash drive or micro SD card. Just going to call it disk, click OK here and apply to create a new uh, partition volume on here. So let's go ahead and let that happen. It's going to take a bit of time and you should see it's pending operations too. And it's now updating the partition table and we can see it's now done. And we can now go ahead and try to access that USB flash drive. Yes, the data is gone. And if you want to try to recover data, you can use some sort of data recovery software. And you can see we gain access to the drive, but all the data is gone, but at least the drive is now accessible and we've now resolved that, that issue. Now, if you don't want to install software on your PC, you can try disk part. It is a free utility that's built into Windows. All you need to do is go to the start button and type CMD in the search box and run this as administrator. And then all you need to do here is type out a bunch of commands to uh, create a, a partition on that actual drive here. So assuming that we didn't use the software, you can now type disk part here, and you can now type list disk, and it will show us all the disks on that computer. You can see it's disk two, and you would select your disk. So mine is select disk two, yours might be something different, and it's now selected. We can type clean, and this will clean the drive. And now we need to type in the next command, which is create partition primary. And then once we've done this, we can push enter and this will create our partition for us. There we go. And now we can format the drive. So we just need to go ahead and format. Now you can do a quick format if you want to. I'm just going to do a full format here because I want to make sure the drive is functioning okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do FS equals NTFS. And this will take some time because it's a full format. So if you want to do a quick format, you can do uh, that if you wish. And then once we've done that, we just need to give it a, a drive letter. And we can assign the drive letter by typing assign space letter equals whatever drive letter you want. And that is it. You've now got your drive done inside of a disk part here, the same as you would have done with that software. And you don't have to install anything. So there's a bunch of different ways to go in about doing this. And you should now have your drive accessible. You can go in here and access the drive with no problems at all. So I can't stress enough how important it is to back up your data. If you can't get access to your drive to back up your data, then take it to a repair shop to do data recovery. And then hopefully, that will resolve your issue rather than doing these fixes. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.